Testing, testing, two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two. This is a test, 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 test. All right, we are live. I believe we are live. We are alive. We are alive. Uh, that's a good thing because we are live and we are alive. It kind of rhymes. Um, so the whole purpose of this live stream is going to be for me to show you Red Dead Redemption 2 and how it looks straight from a Chrome browser, upscaled to 4K, uh, just so you can see how good the quality is. Uh, me live streaming this in 1080p or 720p, you cannot see the quality. What I'm doing here is I'm outputting a very high bitrate. Uh, we're talking like 128 megabits per second. Okay, and that's a lot of megabits per second. And that's what I'm trying to do here. Now, for those of you who are watching this on a cell phone or a tablet and using a 4G, then you're not going to see what I'm trying to show you here. This is really for those of you who are sitting at home and you got your YouTube app on your television and your television supports a 4K with the YouTube app. This is for who this is. If you're watching from a cell phone, dude, just do me a favor. Don't watch this live stream. If you're watching from a cell phone, just drop your phone. Go watch something else. Uh, this is not intended for you to see this through your phone or your little tiny tablet. This is intended for you to see this on your 4K television. Okay. Um, what's the whole point of this? The whole point of this is because I'm sick and tired of listening to people trying to tell me that uh, Google Stadia doesn't work. I have this thing since November 21st. November 21st. I haven't had a single issue. Everything seems to be working fine. You know, does it have that many games? Of course it doesn't have that many games. What service, when it started, did it have many games? Did PlayStation 1 back in 96 had that many games when it first started? I don't freaking think so. Did Xbox has that many games when it first started? I didn't think so. It was just having Halo and Project Gotham Racing. So let's not have double standards. Let's not jerk each other off because I'm tired of circle jerk. Everybody stroking each other's cock. Uh, let's not have double standards. One standard, it's fucking good enough for me. And I think one standard should be good enough for fucking everybody out there. Okay, so let's get on the fucking board. Either we're all going to have a fucking standard or we're all just going to suck each other's cocks and just have a circle jerk all fucking year round. Uh, and I think that's where we're going with all this fanboyism, jerking, sucking, and stroking. Google Stadia fucking works and you're going to fucking see it in a minute. If you don't like it, too fucking bad. That's your fucking problem. Don't like it, go, I don't know, stroke your Nintendo Switch. But don't tell me that it doesn't work. Because I'm sick and fucking tired of these assholes. And these same assholes, these big YouTubers, they're too afraid to debate. All right, Mr. Young, yeah, Mr. Big fucking Hotshot, why don't you debate me? Tell me when and where. Debate me. All right, Mr. fucking Dreamcast guy, you want to debate me? Fucking debate me. You're not going to do it. Why? Because you don't want to give me a spotlight and you know you're going to lose the goddamn debate. And make, you're going to make yourself look like a jerk. All right, so without any further ado, let's go ahead. Let's start this. And if this is, triggers you, on fucking subscribe I'm not holding you hostage to fucking subscribe on fucking subscribe go stroke someone else's fucking cock don't stroke mine let's move on I think I'm tired of these fucking soft ass motherfuckers with these soft ass fucking glasses living in a little fucking cocoon Isolated from the reality of a world and how it fucking works. They're gonna fucking tell me that Google Stadia doesn't work. Yet I fucking have it. I bought it. I paid for it. Nothing was given to me. Not a single goddamn thing. I'm super fucking proud of that. I'm honored. I'm fucking honored and fucking proud. 
that I paid everything myself. No one fucking gave me shit. And I came here from Bosnia, a war-torn fucking country that had a genocide committed by Serbians. I came here with fucking nothing and paid everything for my fucking self. So I don't want to fucking hear it, you la-la-la land motherfuckers. Fuck you. That's my fucking message. Go fuck yourself and your fucking la-la land. Let's move on. You want to debate me? Fucking debate me, motherfucker. Set a date and time and when on the Google Hangout. Debate me. Grow some fucking balls and debate me. Other than that, shut the fuck up. Now, enjoy Google Stadia because it works. It works. How many motherfuckers out there going to be upscaling this to 4K30? How many? How many on YouTube are going to find they're going to do this? How many? No, 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 no. How fucking many? One guy. Me. The guy who started his whole fucking 4K movement. This fucking guy. No one was talking about a 4K till I fucking started doing it. So I don't want to fucking hear it. Let's move on. And that's my rant. That's the fucking truth. Now let's move on. Now the reason I didn't put my camera here is because I don't want to put a bottleneck on my capture card. If I put a camera, then it's going to be a bottleneck. Thank you, amigo. I appreciate it, man. I'm just sick and tired, dude. I'm 41 years old. I'm sick and tired of bullshit, man. It's 2020. I'm tired of everyone's bullshit. I'm going to expose everybody. I'm going to expose Illuminati, fucking Freemasons, fucking everybody can go fuck themselves. Fuck you. Tired of you all. Don't fucking tell me how to live. You don't own me, motherfucker. I own me. That's my rant for 2020. Look at this, young money, yeah. Look at this. It's fucking unplayable. Look at this poor piss-ass quality that has no fucking difference between the PC or the Xbox or the PlayStation 4 Pro. Look at this god-awful fucking quality. Look at this. Unplayable. Let me call my horse. Hold on. Where is he? Everybody, you know, everybody wants to tell you what's good for you, you know. And God forbid if, if you question a big fucking pampered, big pampered YouTuber. God forbid you don't agree with him. You know what? I don't fucking agree with you. Because I think you're full of shit. Yes, young, yeah, you're fucking full of shit. Yes, fucking Dreamcast guy, drop the fucking act. You're full of shit. Hey, what's up, uh, Opium? How you doing, man? Oh my god, look at this. I cannot even see the clouds. This is just terrible. Just terrible. Just awful. Hey, uh, Digital Foundry. Hey, Digital Foundry. You want to charge people $5 a month? Okay, go ahead. Charge people $5 a month. I'm not charging people shit. They can watch this for free. Guess what, Richard? You can watch this for free too. As a matter of fact, you can fucking join in right now and watch this shit for free. 
But maybe you have a dial-up internet, Richard, so I don't know. Maybe you have a fucking dial-up internet in the middle of London. I don't know. Uh, such a big city, you still have a dial-up and you got a piss-poor fucking quality. Fuck everyone, man. I'm sick and tired of these motherfuckers. Folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone, just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. I get me a proper whiskey! Then Come on! Yeah, boy, I'm gonna get a proper whiskey! Prapa 12 up your ass! Khabib, you hear me, Khabib? Prapa 12! Prapa 12! Ah, Prapa 12, this key boy! Let's do it! Prapa 12, this key! We're gonna rob that shit right now! Fuck you, dog. What's his name? Hey, Dana White, pop a whiskey up your ass. <laughs> Let's do it. How far is this place? Yeah! Thank you, Sandro. Yeah! Prapa 12 whiskey, boys. Let's go. <laughs> it will. Ashes to ashes. But it takes time. You know, they're working on it. But hey, it doesn't work. I'm sorry. Guys, I should... I. I should have listened to Dreamcast guy. I should have listened to uh, Young Young Money. Yeah, I should have bet on Young Money. Yeah, uh, this is I. I'm gonna just shut down the stream. I can't play. It's unplayable. No, I, no, no, no. I can't see shit. I'm fucking blind. It's unplayable. It's unfucking playable. Oh my god, man. I think the only supporters I will have is Google. I think only Google's gonna support me now. And Phil Harrison. There's like, we're gonna let this video slide. We agree with Mr. 4K. Fuck him. Fuck him. We've been getting too much fucking hostility lately. <laughs> I'm not drunk. I'm just drinking my proper 12. <laughs> Where the hell is this proper 12? Jeez. Hey, I want to see uh, Quentin Tarantino in Red Dead Redemption. How come no one modded Quentin Tarantino? Quentin Tarantino should be in here. It's terrible, Ashes to Ashes. I'm gonna have to end it. I'm gonna have to end the stream. This is just unplayable. I mean, Jesus H. Christ. I have a better idea. Why don't I just uh, put some toys behind me and some fake samurais? And why don't I just put camera in front of me and let me talk about Google Stadia? I think it's better if I do it that way. <laughs> Uh, 
I think I'll have more credibility. I'll have more credibility if I just put a bunch of fucking toys behind me and a fake samurai swords. I think I'll have more credibility. Yes. And I'll talk about Google Stadia and how terrible it is. It's, 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 it's failed. They shut down the service. They shut down the service, man. It doesn't even work anymore. Hey, what's up, Dwayne Johnson? How you doing, bro? What's happening? Hey, guys, did you check out that Metal Gear I did from the Xbox One X? And did you see that uh, Gran Turismo Sport? That 4K 60 footage? Holy shit, man. It looks fucking good. It's still shocking to see what PlayStation 4 Pro can really do with... Uh... No, really, think about it. Hold on. No, think about it. PlayStation 4 Pro... It's downpowered from Xbox One X Enhanced, and it was released in 2016, November. And look how much power they were able to squeeze since 2016. All right? So Mark Cerny was right. Because if he wasn't right, then we wouldn't have all this cool gaming experience and exclusives that we gotten from PlayStation 4 Pro. And when you see that video, that 4K60 video of Gran Turismo Sport, I'm like, wow. If they can do all of this with PlayStation 4 Pro, imagine, just imagine what Mark Cerny and all the other developers who are working currently with the dev kits of the, I mean, console kit, they're working with developers, what they're going to be able to achieve with PlayStation 5. And the kind of horsepower, the kind of graphics they're going to be able to squeeze out of that PlayStation 5 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive. Tell us where they stand. Ah, we're all getting old, my friend. We're all getting old. We're dinosaurs. We're dinosaurs, man. Don't use the Christ in Wayne, man. What's wrong with you? You can't do that. That's a blasphemy. <clears throat> How dare you? Maybe I'm Evangelico. You don't know me, man. I'm going to block you right now. How dare you use a Jesus name? Jesus Christ. You, make, you mention Jesus. For Christ's sakes, I block you. My daddy says, fuck your daddy. My daddy says, fuck your daddy from Cincinnati. Oh, fuck this shit. Fuck his daddy. I say, fuck his daddy from Cincinnati. Exactly, DJ. Tell him. Maybe DJ needs to educate all these idiots that they're talking to somebody who's got everything. Every fucking console ever made. I got it. 
Every goddamn VR headset made, I got it. Every fucking monitor ever made, I got it. Every fucking TV ever made, I got it. Paid with my own fucking money. So you go and shove that shit up your ass, blow it out your ass, or suck on it, or choke on it, or whatever the fuck is that you want to do. But remember, this is who you're talking to. Somebody who's got it all. This is about me proving a point to these big cocksuckers, YouTubers, that Google Stadia works. While they're sitting behind their goddamn toys in front of a DSLR camera, and they're trying to tell everybody that it's a failure. If it's a failure, if it's a failure, then why are you talking about it? Why are you still talking about it later on, month and a half? You're still talking about it. You're still making videos about it. Aren't you supposed to be making videos about CES Vegas? Aren't you supposed to be making videos about 360 hertz refresh rate monitors? Aren't you supposed to be making videos about a Alienware Nintendo Switch ripoff? Aren't you supposed to be talking about 293 inch micro LED wall from Samsung? Aren't you supposed to be talking about this stuff? No. Let's talk about Google Stadia. Why? Because you know that they're not failing. You know that they're moving forward. And you know it works. And you, don't, and you hate it. It bothers the fuck out of you. And that's what it is. It's just some kind of a pride shit. You know, I, I want to be right. I want to be so fucking right. Uh, this needs to fail. I can't be wrong. I cannot make a fucking apology video and say I was wrong. I can't do that. That's, a, that's against my uh, big ego fucking principles. I can't do that. Well, guess what, young yeah? It looks like you're going to have to deal with that. And you, Dreamcast guy, you're going to have to deal with that. Because this shit ain't going nowhere. Google Stadia ain't going nowhere, okay? They have more money than gods. They are gods. You want Illuminati? They are fucking Illuminati, okay? They can do whatever the fuck they want to do. How do you think they got, they got that money? How do you think they're able to operate? Because they are fucking Illuminati. They're owned by Illuminati, so they can do whatever the fuck they want to do. They got the money. Just like Jay-Z is fucking owned by Illuminati, and in, he can do nothing unless what they tell him to do. So Google State ain't going fucking nowhere, motherfucker. It's here. There's your truth. Now you handle that truth if you can. Which I don't fucking think you can. <clears throat> Alright, let's go rob these motherfuckers. There's no Papa 12 whiskey here, boy. They've been lying to me. No Papa 12. Hey, it's over there. Where? Dana, why stash the Papa 12 whiskey here? <laughs> Thank you, Michelangelo. Exactly. They can't because they're a bunch of fanboys. I don't see it. Where the hell did he stash it? Oh, right here? Oh, hold on. Ah, boy! That proper 12 whiskey right here. Yes, there is a difference between 30 and 60, as it should be. But then again, do you need it for this game? I don't think you need it for this game. That's for like Call of Duty Modern Warfare. That's what you need at 60 FPS. Uh, I can't play first-person shooter games on 30 FPS, but I can play a game like this with 30, you know. 
And I have a PC version. I played the PC version at 60 FPS. All right, we got to get out of here. Oh! You son of a bitch! Get up! Jesus! How did you survive that? Oh my goodness. How the hell did you survive that shit? Oh, I gotta run. Gotta run! Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Goddamn trolls! Goddamn trolls! There is no lag because you connected to Wi-Fi. That's been debunked. And if you're looking at that video from Washington Post, dude, that was November 18th. Prior to the launch of the damn service. If you're going to be watching a damn video from a Wall Street Journal, November 18th, and you're gonna be comparing it to now? Come on, dude. I have it. I've done videos to prove that. Others have done videos to prove that. No latency. That's why they created a Wi Fi controller and not a Bluetooth controller. So that way you're directly connected to their servers. But don't expect Mr. Yong Ya to explain this to you. Don't expect the Dreamcast guy to explain this to you. They're not. They're going to tell you that the uh, controller is too heavy, and they're going to tell you that controller batteries are too low. Any controller batteries can go low. Even the PlayStation 4 Pro uh, controller batteries go really bad, really quick, really fast. You know, but hey, let's not compare that to that. Let's just stick to one narrative. Let's just shit on this service for the sake of shitting. And I'm so happy to expose these motherfuckers. And like I said, they want to debate me. Dude, name the fucking place and time. When do you want to do this? I'll debate you. Anytime, anywhere. Are they going to do it? No. Because they don't want that. They don't want to give me number one. They don't want to give me a spotlight. That's number one. And number two, they don't want to look like jackasses. And they have a low energy. They don't have a high energy like I do. Okay? They don't have the fucking energy to debate. I do. I know how to debate. I know how to talk. I've been around the fucking world. All right? End of story. Moving on. Oh, he's still there. He's still there, motherfucker. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, motherfucker. I didn't see him. He was right behind the tree. Shit. Yeah, man. They, you know... They're all looking at the outdated sources. Same thing with Destiny 2. Earlier today I was playing Destiny 2. Dude, bunch of people. Bunch of people to find to play. Really. I didn't have a difficult time trying to find somebody to play. People were begging me to play. I'm getting invites. As soon as I step into Destiny 2, I was getting invites to play. Didn't even get a chance to, to fucking situate myself. I was getting invites immediately to, to co-op to play. But, you know, according to Mr. Money Young, yeah, that there's no one there. It's an empty, empty, empty server. No one's there. There's no people there. No one's playing it. It's just empty. Yeah. And now people are going to say, but you being an asshole... I'm being an asshole for a reason. I would never be an asshole for no reason. 
to people. But when I see that you are purposely lying, that you're purposely pulling shit out of your ass, and you, const you constantly are just lying, and you failed to give any positive about this service, I have to expose you. I have to be an asshole to you. I can't be nice to you, man, because you're lying. Can you give at least one positive? Nothing? Zero? Nothing? No? No? Okay. All right. But you're willing to give a positive to Project X Cloud. You're willing to give a positive to a PlayStation now, but no. It's a Google. I'm a hater. I hate Google. I can't give anything positive. I rest my fucking case. Court is fucking adjourned. Moving on. Case is closed. Come on! Damn horse! Oh, there he is. Look at the lighting here. Oh, it's terrible. Look at these graphics. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lord. Let's get out of here. Let me set up a camp here. Let me sleep till morning. Let me set up a camp here. I'm set up a damn camp. Here we go. I'm gonna wake up in the morning. Let me eat something first, and then I'm gonna, let me see, craft and cook something if I got some. Let me go. My goddamn hungry over here. All right, let's go to sleep. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Morning, eight hours. There we go. Hey, what's up, snoozer? How you doing, man? Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Let's let's look at this terrible graphics. Let's examine it a little bit. Uh, in a first-person mode. Because this is unacceptable. Whoever thought that, that you could stream like this and also live stream like this from a cloud service? I mean, whoever thought that this is possible? I know who thought this is possible. Some guy named Mr. Money Youngya. I know I should have listened to him. And why didn't I listen to Digital Foundry? Oh my god. What a fool. Alright, you bastard. Let's do this. Get out my shotgun. Ah! Motherfuckers! They got me, man. They got me. The Young Ya clan got me. <laughs> of course he looks good, man. I know it is. Hold on, let me check my map. I want to check my map. Uh, we gotta go see, what's his name? Grace. We gotta go see Grace. And what the hell is this? 
Who is this? Hold on. Lenny. Lenny needs to speak to you. Uh, let's go see Lenny. He's not that far. Let's go see Lenny. Hold on. Um, you know what? Fuck Lenny. I'm going to go here because uh, there's too much enemy out there. I'll go over here. You're finishing up Tomb Raider on Stadia today. Awesome, Karsten. I got all three Tomb Raiders and they all look great, man, on, on Google Stadia. Every single one of them just looks amazing. Yes, I can't wait to try Cyberpunk. To see, uh, and the main reason I want to get Cyberpunk on Stadia is because I can take it with me. I can play it on my laptop, if I go somewhere, if I travel during the summer. I can play my cyberpunk in a hotel room. I don't have to watch the stupid uh, channels that they give me at a hotel. Or whatever it is that I'm at. I can play a cyberpunk. Take it with me. I don't have to carry a console with me, okay? Yes, the Avengers and... Uh, the Watch Dogs, Legion, and Doom Eternal. What is this? What the hell is this? Is this guy drunk? Hold on. Howdy! Okay. <laughs> Do I look okay? No. <clears throat> you look awful. Ugh. Awful. Yes, yeah, Tomb Raider, man. I did. Did, did you see that video I did? I Looks amazing, man. I didn't deserve this. I used to be gentle. Jeremiah Compson. Compson stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. What did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living a career. Why not drinking a proper 12 whiskey? You should be drinking a proper 12. Proper 12, boy. <laughs> I'm not drinking proper 12. That's why you're puking. <laughs> my old house. How's my grandfather? Thank you, Vito. Vito, thank you, Vito, man. I appreciate that. I'm glad to see there's more Stadia supporters out there. Hey, there's nothing wrong with 1080p. Uh, urban World. I still watch my Vizio. Uh, 70, uh, 70 inch, oh no, 75 inch 3D. I still watch it. Looks fantastic. I watch a bunch of 3D movies on it. Dude, um... There's nothing wrong with 1080p television. It's still good, bro. It's still good. And uh, I've been watching a bunch of 3D movies. Looks great on 75 inch. I know. It. Dude, I love it. I freaking love it. I'm going to buy it, dude. That You know what? I got to back. Listen, man. I have to get back into uh, Nintendo Switch. A little bit. I have to start playing some. Dude, there's tons of games I haven't covered with Nintendo Switch. But the problem is, it's difficult for me to make videos on YouTube about Nintendo Switch due to the fact that Nintendo, it's very anal about it. If, if you show any glimpse of, like, Zelda or any glimpse of, like, Mario, they're gonna, like, they're gonna put you on a cross, you know. So, that's why I'm kind of, like... I love, listen, I love Nintendo Switch. Everybody needs to understand, I have Nintendo Switch. Tons of games to play on Nintendo Switch. Tons of shit to play on there. Uh, it's just that I can't do any videos about it, because I'm not authorized by uh, Nintendo. Shriner! 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 
Do host me! Everybody hates me. Do host me! How you doing? <laughs> David McKenzie, what's up? <laughs> what's up, David McKenzie? <sighs> is it Guten Tag or is it, uh, is, is, it, is it morning over there? I don't want to pay more than 600. I'm so busy with my life. I'm not a hardcore gamer as of right now. Hey, and, and Urban World, $600 is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Maybe not for some people, but for us who are middle class, barely making ends meet, $600, it's a lot of goddamn money. And it's cool that we have something like this available where we don't have to spend $600. Graphics cards alone are $600. Let me repeat that one more time. Graphics cards alone, even the, the entry level one, will cost you $600. Not everyone's, like you said, urban world, not everyone's living with a big Dan Bra Brazilian, Belzerian, whatever the fuck his name is. Not everybody's living in the hills of, of Hollywood with the big fucking houses. No, not everyone's living in, in La La Land and Beverly Hills or Boca, or Palm Beach, no, not, not all of us are fucking super rich, we don't have that kind of money, man, but according to these big YouTubers, who are sponsored, and then they never pay for anything, everything is given to them, and they want you to give them some more, and then they get paid, they will tell you that you should definitely go ahead and purchase this, the $600 console or, or this $1,500 uh, BenQ projector that sucks and the lamp dies off right away. Why? Because we are sponsored and I want to make my sponsors happy. I can't believe it. There, the, the, uh, uh, am I the only one or did people just go stupid? Do we really have stupid? Um, you know what? Jesus Christ, we have stupid people. Stupid people do exist, apparently. They exist in 2020, yes. Sasquatch is a more intelligent. Human beings are becoming more stupider. While Sasquatches are the only species that are going to survive when there is a nuclear holocaust. They're the only fucking species that are going to survive inside the underground fucking caves. Just like they have survived all these centuries. Anyway. Enough of this proper 12 whiskey drinking. Let's go. If you drink a proper 12, you tell the truth. You tell the truth, Dana White. You drink a proper 12 whiskey. You tell the truth. Boy. <laughs> All right, where's my goddamn horse? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Come on. I just don't give a shit anymore, man. I'm just to, to the point. I'm like Charlie Sheen. You know, I'm like Charlie Sheen. Fuck it. Tiger, tiger blood. I don't give a shit. Fuck it. You know, I don't give a shit anymore. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell, I'm just gonna tell the truth. Fuck it. I'm just gonna tell the truth. I'm tired of fucking pretending. I'm just gonna tell you the truth and then you deal with it however you wanna deal with it. That's it. Thank you, Snooze. Fuck this pretending shit. Life is too short to, to pretend. Oh. And it feels so good. I gotta tell you, man. It feels so good that I'm not owned by anybody. It feels so fucking good. I'm not owned by Illuminati. They didn't give me any money. I'm not approached by Freemasons. They don't own me. I don't go to their lodges. No one fucking owns me. I'm totally free. I fucking love it. I fucking love it, dude. True freedom. True fucking freedom. Everybody else is bought by somebody. Everybody else is scared because they're afraid to, to say the wrong thing. Because they don't want to lose what they have. Because they made a deal with the devil. And then they already sold their fucking soul. So they have to be, for the entire lives, they have to be in debt to the devil. Me, I'm not. I'm fucking free. I can say whatever the fuck I want to say. Look at the quality here. Look at this, man. Look at it. Thank you, Alan. Appreciate it.
Sorry about that. Thank you, Alessandro, man. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Thank you. ain't got no work to offer, so go look in some place else. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Obliged. Morning to you. Hello. All right, so let me go inside. Let me talk to this dude. Howdy there. I'm here to talk about the grace. Are you the great? Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region. I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. DJ's right. No soliciting prostitution here, man. We evangelicals. We don't do that kind of shit. We follow the God. And we follow his footsteps. Only a married man can propose to offer his D to his woman. <laughs> Alright, so what are we doing here? Are we having fun? Hell yeah. This is what life is about. Have fucking fun. Stop being so goddamn dense. Stop worrying about everything. Enjoy the fucking life. Alright? Stop being so goddamn afraid. Alright? <laughs> what in hell is this? Proper 12? Eh, better be a proper 12 in here. <laughs> Howdy! We got a prop 12 in there? Ah, damn. Howdy there, boy! Quit reading, boy! Go milk the cows! Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> I'll see you at the Yeah! Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We don't get a lot of traveling men here. And suddenly, there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I'm just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Oh, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty... Oh, come on! Offer some proper 12 whiskey and she'll definitely let you have the D. Her other D. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. She's a bi-triple D. Would you help? I don't want to get involved. can't Seems unseen. I'll pay. I've got money. We've I'm got listening. Money. How much you want to pay? <laughs> I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Ah, I'm going to deliver this message to her right now. Well, boy, that's like your opinion, boy.
Where are my horse at? Look at this quality. Look at this. Beautiful. You know what sucks? Them Canadian waffles sucks. Do you know why? Because even Sasquatches won't eat them in British Columbia and in Northern Alberta. Yeah, even the Sasquatches won't eat your Canadian waffles. They eat Stadia waffles. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Here we go. Wow, look, look at this, look at this. Look how beautiful it is, man. Listen, look at look, look. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I want to be the CEO of Stadia. Phil Harrison, I want your job. Phil Harrison, you can step down. Let me do this. Let me take the helm. <laughs> I want to steer the ship of Goog Stadium. Problem with the shadow is it's not available in my state. When they reach all the 50 states, then maybe I'll think about that 1299. It looks beautiful. Look at this. I mean, look at this. Oh my goodness. Look how beautiful it looks. Come on. Let's let's just take a little... Sh look at this. Look at the, the birds and everything. It's just... Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Look at this. Where's Yong Ya? Yong Ya, are you watching? Yong Ya, Mani Ya, Mani Ya. Oh, Mani Ya is too busy uh, counting the cash from his Patreon millions of sheep. Wow, look at this. Amazing. Oh yeah, it's like super blazing fast. No problem. Don't have to wait for downloads. Don't need to buy an additional hard drive. Press of a button, I'm good to go. Hell yeah. Hell, 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 hell yeah. How am I streaming from the TV called magic? Magic. Magic, man. It's a magic. Poof. Look at the fog. Oh, look at the fog. Where is Richard? Richard. 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 From Digital Magnifying Glass Foundry. Oh, my goodness. Digital Magnifying Glass Foundry. Oh, my God. Look at this. Wow. 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 Look at this. Unbelievable. <coughs> Look at the detail. Look at this. You can even see the horse's balls right here. Okay, fella. They all lied. They're liars. They're liars. Pants on fire! Liar! Liar! <laughs> on the property. You 
You know what's wrong? Here's what's wrong. What's wrong is that your stupid ass is here. That's what's wrong. Go fuck yourself, man. Go eat that fucking Canadian waffle. Shove it up your ass. Or better yet, why don't you go up to the woods and get fucked by Sasquatch? Yeah. Maybe you'll think better. I don't think even Sasquatch will fuck you. They wouldn't fuck you with a stolen fucking dick. So go eat on that fucking Canadian waffle. Motherfucker, are you fucking with me? You, you already fail. As soon as you start typing to me, consider you already failed. End of story. Capish? Over. I'm a phenomena, okay? Phenomena in the billions of fucking years. Only one phenomena. That's me. So I'm glad to be acquainted to introduce myself to you. So go ahead, join the rest of the fucking clowns. Talk shit about me. Make me some more money. Get the fuck out of here. Talking to me. Who's shooting at me? What the fuck? Was that a Canadian waffle? Motherfucker. <laughs> What's up, Jamie? How you doing? All right. This guy got to go too. Tech boy, man, you're talking out of your ass. I don't have time for people talking out of their ass. All right? Go make some more fake accounts, tech boy. Get the fuck out of here. Come back to me when you got some fucking brains. And then we'll talk. Where's my fucking guns? Hold on. There we go. That's it. Let's do this. We're going to do this in a uh, first person mode. I get this Prapa 12 boy. Prapa 12 whiskey. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, fellas. Actually, I should be a stealth mission here. <coughs> stealth mission. Stealth. I got a one gigabit, Jamie. I got, um, on a bad day, 745 down and 240 up. On a good day, 945 down and uh, 350 up. But now with this cable that I have, this new installation, <coughs> well, I'm fucking coughing for motherfucking sakes. Uh, on, on a... On this new installation that I have, I'm getting 945 and 350. 945 down, download and upload. It's a 348. I'm sorry. It is a, let me see. Yeah, 348 up. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to stream this in 4K. All right, let's go. Let's go. You don't see me. I don't think they're going to be at uh, CES. I think they're going to do their own thing. They're going to do their own keynote. They're going to do their own press conference in March. Uh, and Google's going to show us their new Chromecast Ultra. 
and this new Chromecast Ultra will give us the uh, more better improvements on how to utilize that 4K and HDR. And they're also probably going to talk to us about the ability to stream from YouTube without any capture cards directly from YouTube, from Google Stadia. You'll be able to stream directly from Google Stadia, share the games, invite other people. Oh, fuck! Fuck, I wasn't supposed to do that. Fuck! Alright, we gotta sneak past the uh, the house. I got I, I know how to do this. Hold on. I remember now. It's been a long time, boy! You stay here, horsey. I gotta be like a Sasquatch. I have to be like a Sasquatch. I gotta hide like a Sasquatch. I gotta put on my Sasquatch mentality. I don't prefer one or the other. I just like that there's an alternative. This is about me having an alternative. Me not worrying about updates. Me not worrying about is my console overheating. Me not worrying about me cleaning my console fan. Me not worrying about firmware updates. Me not worrying about my storage space. Do I have enough, stor enough storage space? This is about convenience. I like the ability to have something alternative. That's what this is about. I love that there is an alternative. And what bothers me is that there's cunts out there who don't want us to have this alternative. They don't want us to have the alternative. They want us to stick with the fucking consoles and their hard drives. I like that there is an alternative. I love that I can switch between this, a console, and a PC. I love that. I love that I can put on my VR headset and play this from my VR headset. I love alternatives, man. I'm all about alternatives. I'm a true tech guy who appreciates cutting edge, bleeding new fucking technology. But apparently, for them, we shouldn't have that. No, 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 no. We shouldn't have that. There shouldn't be a, such a thing as an alternative option. I mean, look at my videos. What did I do yesterday? Showed you a, a Gran Turismo Sport running in a 4K60. What did I do the day before yesterday? Showed you a Metal Gear Solid from Xbox One X enhanced upscale to 4K60. What does that make me? A Google Stadia fanboy? No, it makes me the only relevant motherfucker on the YouTube. Everybody else is like, oh, my, my PlayStation is, uh, my PlayStation 5 is more powerful than your Xbox. Or my Xbox is the best sex box. Or my Nintendo's got everything I need. Or my PC conquers everything and mops the floor. I don't want to talk to people like that. Unsubscribe. If you're somebody like that, dude, unsubscribe, walk away. I'm not interested. I want the alternatives. I like to have the alternative. I want to have everything alternative. That's what makes life more enjoyable. Having variety of options is what makes life more enjoyable. Eating the same bread every day doesn't make it enjoyable. You get tired of eating the same goddamn bread every day. You want to try different bread, different flavor bread, or, or different food, or something different. Ah, fuck! Come on, man, I'm taking a shit! I'm, I'm okay! Okay! I'm taking a shit! Fuck! I'm just taking a shit! 
Can a man take a shit in the bushes these days? God damn. Can't even take a shit in the bush. <laughs> exactly, DJ. Exactly. But apparently, we live in a day and age in 2020 where you're not supposed to have an alternative. No, no, no. No. No, 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 no. No, you shouldn't have an alternative. If you don't have a, listen, if you don't have a freedom of choice, then you're not free. You're not free. Sorry to break it to you, you're not free. Alright? Means somebody owns you. Means you got a monopoly and somebody owns you. You have no choice. <clears throat> People say, how could you say I'm relevant? I can say I'm relevant because I try everything and I pay for everything. Others don't do that. They want the freebie. I try it before I talk about it. Like right now, I'm showing it to you. I don't just sit behind some toys and the fake samurai swords with a bunch of boxes. I actually show it to you. Here I am. Almost one hour and six minutes. No issues, no problems. No issues, no problems. Clearly it works. Here I am. It works. And it's upscaled to 4K. From a Chrome browser. From a Chrome browser. What, you want the proof? Here. Here's the proof. Oh, does it work? Oh, look at that. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Oh, yeah. I'm talking out of my ass. Yeah. I'm talking out of my ass. All day long. My mouth is in my ass. <laughs> God damn. Do you need a one gigabit internet speed? No, you don't. I should have done an interview with my uh, with the technicians, but they couldn't do an interview with me because they cannot do that because the company doesn't allow them to. They have to be authorized. They have to have a release form to be authorized to do an interview. I wanted to do an interview with one of the technicians who was installing the cables into my house. He wanted to tell everybody that, look, you don't need a one gigabit. You don't need a one gigabit internet to enjoy this. You will find with just 200 megabits per second. If you have a 200 megabits per second internet, you're good. You're good. They have unlimited 200 megabit. It doesn't have to be one gigabit unlimited, okay? Xfinity X5 Advantage has different options in the United States. But don't expect Yong Ya. Mr. Money Young, yeah, to tell you that. I'm pretty sure there's Xfinity in Los Angeles in California, last time I checked. But what do I know? What do I know? I, w I just landed on this planet like two freaking hours ago. I'm, I'm trying to get used to breathing this O2, th this air. What's up, Naomi Hunter? Naomi, God damn it! why are you here? I don't want you here. You didn't bring me medicine. <laughs> ah, shit, man. Hold on, I gotta sneak around past this goddamn fence around here. Uh, way better, dude. NVIDIA Cloud Gaming sucks can't get the game I mean it's blurry it's laggy it's just pfft, terrible I tried playing uh, division 2 on it terrible because they don't have the technology that Google Stadia has the only thing that Nvidia has is the GPU power but they don't have 
the server technology that Google Stadia has, that Google Stadia invested on. See, this is the point people are missing out. You can compare this to PlayStation Now. You can compare this to NVIDIA and even Azure because Azure is only giving us a cell phone to try it on. They're not giving us a PC or, or uh, other devices. They're not even doing 4K HDR. Google Stadia, it's a total different beast. They have technology. They built these servers. They built these data centers to give us this. And they're the only ones who are doing it to give us 4K and HDR at the moment. Now, people are going to say, what about the Shadow PC Gaming? Shadow PC Gaming, man, that's a small company. You, you, know, you don't want to invest into a company that you don't know if they're going to survive the competition because they're, they're independent. A French company, and I don't know how long this guy uh, from France is going to be investing into infrastructures here with the cloud. If he starts losing money, guess what? He's going to shut down the service and pay off his investors and run off to the sunset. That's how business works. So this is Google, man. This is a big, giant corporation, a big, giant company. Okay? They have technology, obviously. They have it. <clears throat> well, you don't have to sign up with a PlayStation, I mean, with a Google Stadia Pro. Google Stadia Pro, it's optional. You can only pay 130 and uh, buy Chromecast Ultra and the controller. The Pro subscription, $10 a month, it's only if you want 4K and HDR. If you don't care about the 4K and HDR, you don't, you don't need to uh, purchase it. It's not like necessary for you to have. See, that's another thing. It's not necessary for you to have Stadia Pro subscription. You don't need it. But you won't be able to enjoy 4K and HDR. All right, let's go. You will never have my baby. I'm not going to pay for the goddamn child support. It ain't going to happen. <laughs> I'm not going to be your daddy. I played a Google Stadium on a hotspot. I was playing Destiny 2 at 1080p 60. I have a video. The video is still there. The video is still there of me playing on a Wi-Fi hotspot, 40 megabits per second, 1080p 60 from my laptop. I have a video. November 23rd. What was it? Before Thanksgiving or something like that. Or is it November, 20, November 21st or 22nd? Something around there somewhere. I have a video. I have credibility. Credibility. Those videos are out there. Go look them up. <clears throat> I don't want to compare uh, Google Stadia to Project X Cloud because they're not on the same level. Project X Cloud is only on your cell phone. What's up with that? Come on, man. I don't want to play from my goddamn cell phone. I want to play it on my tablet. I want to play it on my laptop. I want to play it on my Nvidia Shield. I want to play it on my uh, Apple TV. What's up, Phil Spencer? Come on, man. Let me play it on everything. Let's see if you can do 4K and HDR. But they're not doing that right now. They're just sticking to the cell phones. Android cell phones. 720p. Come on. It's not on the same level, guys. It's not on the same level. So that's why I'm not comparing it. <clears throat> what?
Where the hell is this lady? Ramon B. Fair enough. But I can do it right now. I can do it later. Right now I'm too busy playing. Alright, he should be around here somewhere. Where the hell did Naomi go? Damn you, Naomi. Oh, there she is. I'll take a swim here. Fuck it. Hopefully there's no crocodiles. No crocodiles, no crocodiles, no crocodiles, no crocodiles. All right. All right, boy. Yeah, all right, boy. I'll be good. I'll be good. One terabyte flash drive. You know what's really good, man? Is that new... Uh, I can't wait for that. Dude, that's like godsend. Finally. The one thing that excited me... Oh, fuck. Did they see me? The one thing, the one thing that really excited me about uh, CES Vegas is the fact that the Elgato 4K 60S plus external portable capture card it's a really beefy external capture card can't wait for that capture card dude the fact that i can take it with me anywhere i go connect it to uh any console anything i want the idea that i don't have to be in my office you know with my desktop to to capture stuff that's so cool man i can't wait for that uh capture device to be released man you guys let me tell you it's a must-have companionship for your PlayStation 5 and your Xbox Series X guys do yourself a favor if you want to capture the best of the best from your PlayStation 5 and your Xbox Series X buy this 4k 60 s plus external portable capture card you can put one terabyte SD memory card one terabyte SD memory card you can download you can capture a bunch of videos in 4k 60 and HDR and then export them to your computer your laptop or whatever and you can put them together and, and video edit them uh, this that's why I made the video about that capture card uh, I'm not sure what the pricing is going to be they're gonna announce it probably next month or so uh, I'll keep you up to date but that capture card that portable capture card oh my god oh I do it you, you gotta have that shit I'm telling you if you wanna start a YouTube channel I'm helping you out right now if you want to start a YouTube channel and you're like really serious about like pumping out the videos on YouTube and uh, trying to figure out what you're gonna do with your videos maybe you want to be crazy like me and be entertaining and unpredictable you can do that and give that a try uh, or do your own shtick but I'm telling you you want to have this capture card with your Xbox Series X and your PlayStation 5 I'm telling you right now you want to have this capture card <clears throat> uh, Urban World it's called uh, Elgato 4K 60S Plus. Elgato 4K 60S Plus. And it looks fucking cool. I did a video on it. Go check it out. Go on my uh, home homepage. Scroll down like uh, two, three videos. I did a video yesterday. It, it's there. Go check it out. <clears throat> Do it. Do it, Mike. Listen, man. I've been doing this since 2014. If I can do it, you can do it, man. Anybody can do a YouTube channel. But here's what you got to do. Don't copy other people. The biggest mistake <clears throat> I see people do is they copy other people. 
they think oh maybe there's a formula you know if I put bunch of logos people hate introduction videos they fucking hate that shit I know how people think I know what people like and I know what people don't like I'm a fan of human beings I know I can read people I know how they think and I don't know what they like and what they don't like I'll tell you what they don't like they don't like when they click on a goddamn video and then they have to listen to uh, some 30 seconds introduction video with some zombie music and then after that after the, my sponsors message then have to listen to the sponsors message uh, until the sponsors message being done so you spend one minute and 40 seconds till you get to to the point of the video uh, the best thing to do is do your own shtick do your own shtick try to be you because you're only you I cannot be like you because you're only you you are you you are original you you have specific abilities to do something that I can't do so try to be you be you be original you don't try to copy other people and I see a lot of people do that kind of shit and they fail because they think that there's some kind of formula there's some kind of formula to this you know there has to be some kind of hocus pocus magic that you can just make it happen it doesn't work like that guys it doesn't work like that <clears throat> that's why I don't put any goddamn introductions people ask me why don't you put an introduction yes I have Adobe Premiere After Effects I can do all that shit but I know you guys hate that shit I can I can create my own music I got a, a 72 keyboard uh, Casio and Yamaha I have a uh, uh, reasons uh, what was it six or seven I have a software a musical software I can create music I can put videos edit them together and do, do all that shit but you guys gonna hate that shit you're gonna say oh fuck this guy it's not bad enough I have to wait for a 20 second commercial but now I gotta listen to his stupid introduction video and then I have to listen to him say after the sponsors message people don't like that shit people hate that shit and do you know what else people hate when you tell them also make sure you smash that like button make sure you freaking be a good patron smash that fucking like button they hate that shit too people don't like that they don't like to be told what to do I have one golden rule that I learned in life it's called free will free will meaning you will decide whether or not you like what I do or you don't like what I do I have no business to pressure you to tell you to subscribe I have no business to tell you to hit a like or a dislike and I have no business to tell you anything you are you you make your own decision based on what you're seeing whether you like it or don't other youtubers don't do that uh, what I do they want to pressure you they want you to smash that like button yeah, 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 yeah. Look at the Young Yeah videos. Every video, he leaves a pinned comment. Be a good Patreon. Go and donate. Go and donate. I will not answer to your comments, but go donate. Go donate to me. I need the money. I live in a La La Land, very expensive place. Okay? So I need the money. I don't do that shit. Okay? <clears throat> yes, some of them, they make you wait six minutes. You know, a lot of people ask me who was my favorite YouTuber, um, and I told everybody. And I told uh, uh, what's his name? He's my friend, obviously, uh, the guy from Sweden, uh, Demetrius, my my brother Demetrius. I told Demetrius, I said, you know, uh, Joe, I miss Joe, and I'm so sad that he, you know, that he uh, deleted his channel, and and he had twenty thousand subscribers and everything, you know. He was entertaining, he was great, he was funny, dude, he was like a breath of fresh air. And it's sad that he's uh that he's not doing it anymore. You know what I mean? So he was one of my one of my greats, one of my greatest YouTubers of all time was Joe, 1316 Killer, man. Uh I would love to see a 1316 Killer comeback. Dude, I will give 1316 Killer all of my subscribers. He can have them all. Seriously, have them all, dude. Uh you deserve it more than anybody. Uh, he was great. 
But everybody else out there, I don't know, dude. I, I don't know who else. I don't know. There's no one else, man. They're all the same. Uh, I don't know. Uh, they're all the same, dude. They're all just a bunch of backstabbers, double-faced, you know, two-faced, three-faced, four-faced, multiple-faced uh, backstabbers, bullshitters, you know, looking for a quick money grab, cash. Uh, no, no, there was only Joe. Joe was the only one, man. Uh, God bless Joe, man. I, I love Joe. 36 and killer. Shout out to Joe. <clears throat> he was the best. He was the best, man. And like I said, dude, listen. If anybody can reach out to Joe, dude, I'll, I'll do my best to make sure that all my subscribers go to him. I already reached out to Demetrius. Demetrius says, you know, he cannot make him, you know, come back to YouTube. Joe does what he does. You know, no one owns him. He does what he does. Uh, so, uh, but I would love to see Joe come back. I would love to see him with the original name, 1316 Killer Resurrection. Something like that, like a 1316 Killer Resurrection or something like that. Dude, pff, I would love it. Dude, I miss the, you know, you know, I don't know how much I miss that, man. Not being able, like when I, when I come back home, when I'm tired, not being able to see 1316 Killer videos at 10 o'clock to have some entertainment, to, to have a bottle of something, drink and enjoy. I miss that. I miss that. You know? And fuck those trolls and those motherfuckers out there. They never got it. They never understood. They have no... Com they don't understand comedy. They don't understand comedy. They don't know what comedy is. That's the problem with today's generation. They take everything so seriously. They get offended by everything. That's the problem. These millennials, they don't know comedy. They wouldn't know a comedy even if the meteor hits them in the ass. They wouldn't know a fucking comedy. So, that's the way it is, man. That's, that's, that's the kind of uh, society we live in today. You know, I mean, I don't know how people are able to uh, perform at the improv with the comedy clubs. It's got to be really fucking difficult. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's it's. Uh, we'll never see a comedy to the level that George Carlin brought. George Carlin brought the comedy to to the such a level that uh, I don't think there will be ever another comedian that will live up to the level of George Carlin. Uh, I don't think so. You know, he's one of my greats. You know, George Carlin for sure, man. He's he's a goddamn legend. It's a goddamn legend, man. And he was right about everything. He was, a, he was a modern prophet. He was right about everything. I mean, intelligent, funny, creative. I mean, a legend. I listen to George Carlin on the XM radio called the Carlin's Our Corner. When I'm driving in my car, dude, it's just such a... Pff, 80s were the best. 90s were the best. 2000s, the 20s, sucks. What happened good in 2000? 9-11 happened in 2001. And now we are uh, been stuck in that fucking war in the Middle East. And now 2020, we got this shit going on with Iran. It's like, fuck, man. Can I get a time machine? Can I go fucking back? Can I go back to the fucking 80s, please? Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Let's continue here. Enough of me talking. Howdy. Howdy there. Hello. Yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. And a gift. A letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> Bo, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are <coughs> stuck in the Dark Ages. Or, well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. <laughs> Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like... Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep, 
on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are exactly something else. Alfonso yeah, and uh, sir? welcome to the chat room, brother. Well, they tolerate him because yes, he's George Carling, man, is a damn legend. I miss him dearly, dude. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. No, nothing to say except I hope they all rot. I don't. I, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. I'll tell you what, if I ever, listen, if I ever get a buddy pass, I'm going to give it to you guys. Quite honestly, I'm surprised. I'm surprised that the Google didn't send me any passes. I mean, if, if Google Stadia should send somebody a body pass, like a dozens of body pass, they should send it to me. And I'm going to give it to you guys to try it out. You know? I mean, I don't know why they're not, why, I don't know why they're not reaching out to me, honestly. <clears throat> Maybe because they don't like the way I, the way I operate. Because they don't like this. They don't like to lose cannons. They don't like this kind of like stuff. You know, that's, they don't want to be associated with, with someone like me. I get that. I understand that. They don't want to be associated with somebody like me, who's a free thinker, who's thinking outside the box and calls it the way it is. Uh, I get that. I understand that. You know, but uh, I think they had a great opportunity to send me some of these body passes so I can give it to you guys. So you can try it out. Maybe I can give it to Young Yeah. He can try it out. Maybe I can give it to uh, uh, Dreamcast Guy. He can try it out. I'll give it to everybody. Everybody in the chat room who's uh, on the fence. Here you go. Try it out. See for yourself. Hell, I'll even... I'll even... Fuck, I'll get you a gift card or something and from a Google store. And you can use the gift card and purchase some games. Purchase one or two games or some shit. You know, something like that. <clears throat> Hey, Absolute MMA, why don't you go check out my uh, Gran Turismo Nissan GTR video, PlayStation 4 Pro. I think you will enjoy it. Go check it out. Captured with 4K60. Go check that out. Because I know how hardcore of a Sony fanboy you are. Uh, I gotta sneak out of here. All right, Absolute MMA, duly noted. So what so what happens now? What happens now? Are you trying are you here to tell me what to do or Okay, let me make something very clear to you, man. I want you to answer to me right now. Are you here to tell me what to do or are you here to just place your opinion? Okay, your opinion has been placed. Duly noted, you don't like cloud gaming. I got it. You like physical media. But here's another thing you should understand. You don't tell me what to do. You don't tell me to give up. Or tell me what to do on my channel. I'm giving you one and final warning, dude. So just remember that. So go make your move. You want to join other people being blocked? Please let me know.
London, uh, I've been having all sorts of issues with uh, Modern Warfare, not just on the PlayStation, but on the Xbox and the PC, man. There's some kind of a bug. When you go to play a that map that's all out war, where you go out kind of like a Battlefield 5 mode, when you go in there, dude, there's a bunch of glitching. There's a bunch of uh, glitches. Uh, you are respawning middle of nowhere, and then uh, sometimes you would just fall down through the map. All kinds of problems and issues. I don't know. They, they need to patch up a new update or something, dude. I've been having uh, a lot of issues with uh, Modern Warfare, not just on the PlayStation, on the Xbox One X, and on the PC Blizzard network. I've been having all kinds of sorts of problems. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> I did report a bug to Activision, Blizzard. See what they say. I don't know. Absolute MMA, there is nothing wrong with you loving what you love. But the, the problem becomes when you start telling people what they should love. And when you start telling people what they should do, that's when it becomes a damn fucking problem. You do you, let me do me. But don't tell me what I should do. That's where the problem becomes. <clears throat> you want to take a shower with your PlayStation? Go take a shower, put some soap on it. No one gives a shit. But don't tell me what I should do. Don't tell others what they should play. I get it. You don't like cloud gaming. Duly noted. We all get it. Loud and clear. So what now? What are we supposed to do now? Surrender? Bow down to you? And everybody just play consoles and PCs? I mean, what? what? What's the next step? What is your objective? What is your end game? What are you trying to do? That's what I don't get it. You didn't tell me? Okay, let me read uh, what you said over here. You didn't tell me. You see, this is the problem, dude. You got too much pride and too much ego. Here, let, let me tell you what you wrote. Here. Since you got a short memory term, remembrance. Bro, Google Stadia is dead. No one is talking about Google Stadia. That's what you said. That's what you said. That's what you said. Yeah. That you tell me it's dead constantly. Operation dude, give it up. Google Stadia, Google Stadia is trash, it's dead. Operation dude, give it up. Google Stadia is trash, it's dead. That's you saying it. Do you want me to put it on my community feed? Do you want me to do that? I can easily do that and expose you, bro. But I'm not going to be a dick. I'm just letting you know that you're shooting blanks. You got nothing. I got credibility here. So, and I'm giving you a fair warning. I'm being way too fucking nice. I'm being way too reasonable here. You want to love your PlayStation? Love your PlayStation. But don't come here bark and telling us something other. That Google Stadia is dead. Obviously, it's not dead. I'm playing it right now. You don't like cloud gaming? That's fine, dude. You don't have to like it. But I don't need to listen to you 24-7 telling me why you don't like it. We don't want to hear that shit, man. Let me get back to my horse. <clears throat> I'm not being sensitive. I'm just letting you know what's up. Just letting you know what's up. I'm giving you a warning, like chill, relax. 
you you're too freaking passionate about your opinion. I'm just letting you know to relax. We got it. You don't like Google Stadia. I get it. And you have no reason to explain why you hate it so much. You just hate it. We get it. You don't like it. Duly noted. So my question to you is, what's your next step? What do you want us to do? No. You tell me, what do you want me to do about it? To join your some kind of crusade campaign that I we should all hate Google Stadia? Like what? What is, what is your end game, dude? I don't get you. I don't understand you. That's the problem. You're a fanboy, and I don't understand fanboys. All right, dude, you got to go. I gave you enough fucking time. You're out of here. Bye. Go join the rest of the clowns in the fucking pyramids. Over. I don't have time for your shit, man. This is why I block people. And this is why I can't stand fanboys. Because it's there's no reasoning with them. You can't have a normal normal conversation. And I'm not going to waste my fucking time with these fucking idiots. Go join the rest of the fucking clowns. Go make me money. Advertise me. Make videos about me. Go do what you do best. Get the fuck out of here, man. Where is this guy? Hold on. I got to get to my horse. It's right here. There's certain people, there's there's nothing there's nothing you can do, man. There's certain people that just, uh, even though you present them with the evidence, you show them the fucking transcript and they're still ignoring it. Uh, I don't have time for people like that, dude. You know, If you can't admit what you said is wrong, then too bad. Too bad. I got, I, got a, I got a block you, man. I don't have time for you. I don't have time for your bullshit. I did the same thing with the Peter Parker. I did the same thing with all these other two-faced motherfuckers. I don't have time for you. I don't want you on my channel. You don't contribute nothing on my channel, dude. I don't want you. End of story. You're not... Let me put it to you this way. You are not fucking welcome on my channel. You're not welcome. I don't want you. I don't fucking like you. you Capiche? You get that? I don't fucking like you. You're not welcome on my channel. Go to the fucking pyramid and join the rest of the fucking clowns. I want people who have brains. I want people who are mature. I want people who understand logic. I don't need bullshit. <clears throat> exactly to lead to you. A gamer, it's somebody who will appreciate everything. That's what gamers do. They appreciate everything. What is this? Oh yeah, man. Fucking waste of time. Waste of my time and waste of everybody's time. That's why you hit that black button, man. You know? That's it.
And look at this. One hour and 45 minutes. Here I am. Still playing this game. No issues, no problems, no delay. Nothing. For, for almost two hours. Here I am playing this for two hours. No issues whatsoever. Where's Mr. Yong Yao Money Man? Where is he? Ah, what's he gonna say about this? Nothing. It works. It works. And it's here to stay. Alright? It works. If it didn't work, if, if it was a failure, guess what? I wouldn't be playing. I wouldn't be here playing this thing. But see, the problem is with all of this proof that you give them, uh, you cannot reason with them. That's what you're dealing with. This is what you're dealing with. You're dealing with the individuals, even though you're showing them all of this proof, it's not good enough. Why? Because they're a bunch of tribals. They live in a tribal fucking state. It's a tribalism. All right? They're worshipping some brand, and that same brand doesn't give a fuck about them. They just want them to buy their products. Okay? So they're owned by the brand. And they're just worshipping one brand. I don't worship any brand. I don't worship Google Stadia. I don't worship anything. But I'm not going to sit here and feed you bullshit telling you that it doesn't work. When in fact, as you can see, two hours, double check the stream, two hours since 5 o'clock Eastern Time, not one single goddamn issue. And I'm running this in 4K60, upscaled. Yeah, I rest my case. <clears throat> exactly. The quality is as equal as the Xbox. The quality is as equal as the PC. The quality is as equal as the PlayStation 4 Pro. I see no fucking difference. Well, the difference I see is the fact that I don't need a $500, $600 console. I can play this from my laptop. Just click on it and enjoy it. But somehow, that's not welcome. No, I got to have a physical media. I got to have a physical media in my hands. Well, guess what, cousin? Do you see 4K Blu-ray Blu players being made? What's, what's the latest from uh, Samsung? What's the latest from Sony? What's the latest from Panasonic? They don't give a shit about the 4K players anymore. They know it's a dying breed. They know that the physical media is dying. And this is coming from a guy who loves physical media. But at least this guy here, 41-year-old geezer, can fucking tell you, I have to adapt to the new way of living. I have to adapt to this current future that we're in. I can adapt to it. You cannot. Because you're living in the past. Let's look at the, uh, the lighting system here, because uh, Digital Foundry says the shadows and the volumetric light, it's terrible. Uh, let's go check it out. Hold on. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Let's go to this song. It's right here. <laughs> let's see. How is this volumetric light? Volumetric light. Looks god awful. The shadows look god awful. It's just god awful. Yeah. Yeah, man. The particle effects. Look at the particle effects. They're just god awful. Yeah, this is uh, unplayable. Totally unplayable. I mean, what was I thinking? Look at the uh, the reflection of the light on his beard. 
What was I thinking? Let me take a photo here. Let me take a photo here. Here we go, fellas. What do you want to announce? Go ahead. What is it? Let me bring that love letter to Lenny. Lenny. No, it's not Lenny. The other guy. <clears throat> oh, happy birthday, man. Cheers, bro. January 7th. Happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday, my friend. All right, let me uh, exit out of here. Let's walk. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. These textures are terrible. This is just god awful. God awful. What was I thinking? Yeah, I'll take another photo here. Yeah, give it give him a body pass, dude, for his birthday. Give it to uh London. I think it'd be great for London to check it out. I just would like to hear what he has to say. If I had a body pass, I would give it to him right now. I don't have it. Damn it. I don't have a body pass. How old are you now, uh, London? I mean, Glenn. How old are you now, Glenn? Where is he hiding? Where did he go? Forty-one. Well, same age, man. Same me. age. <coughs> sure. Cheers. Did she give anything for me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. It'll cost you. Uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Thank you, Arthur. You'll. Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This will get a kill, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. Bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They Thank you, uh, Michael Moore. Two hours now. Two hours okay. since uh, five o'clock. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. You better get going. All right, let's go. Let's get here. Yep. Come on! Come on! Come on! 
I don't know, it's kind of sad, you know, that, uh, you know, it's sad that I even have to make a video about this. It's sad that I even have to demonstrate this. I think we live in the sad times. 2020, it's some sad times, man. They're, these are not happy times. These are very fucking fucked up sad times we're living in. Not just in terms of gaming, in terms of everything are some sad fucked up times. Because of people ignorance and arrogance. Where is he? <laughs> I got some Hennessy with uh, Pepsi. Seriously. I got some Hennessy with a Pepsi. I mixed it up. No, nah, everything's fucking going. Uh, it's like a Depeche Mode song. It's like that Depeche Mode song, We're Going Backwards. Yeah, that song should be played in fucking billboards and everywhere. We're going fucking ba backwards. Yeah. If you never heard that song, go check it out. <coughs> By Depeche Mode. There's a bunch of remixes on that. Well, I don't want to get into it. I mean, I don't want to dive into the rabbit hole, okay? Because Google doesn't like that. But let's just say I know a lot. I know a lot. And, and I'll probably know a lot more than you guys don't know. And I'm not trying to brag about it. It's just the way I was brought up in this world. I happen to know some people <clears throat> who tutored me in. And... Uh, let's just put it this way it's better if you don't know everything I hate the fact that I know a lot of things okay I wish that I didn't know anything I wish that I was just a stupid idiot do what I gotta do every day and enjoy my life uh, but when you know a lot of things you look at everything differently you know your mindset on, on everything you see on, on Everything you encounter, it's different. Let's just say everything you've been thought, everything you've been everything you've been thought and teached, it's all for the different purposes. Okay? And you've been lied to a lot. You've been lied for like decades. And um, but I don't want to get into it, man. I don't want to fucking get into it. Uh, I'm not going to get into it. I made that promise a long time ago. But anyway, let's just say it's better if you don't know. Because it's fucking bad. It's like really, 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 really ugly, ugly, terribly fucking bad. But I'm not going to get into it. Miss <clears throat> Calhoun, my friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man. Joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep, and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. All right, well, let's promote Stadia. Stadia, 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 we love Stadia, Stadia, Stadia. <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. <laughs> Stadia, Stadia, we love, love, Stadies, our Stadies, Stadies, States. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. Freedom to Stadies. <laughs> it sounds like we're all Irish. We're from Boston. Come to the Stadies, I get in a car. Come to the Stadies, eh? <laughs> you know what? I can't believe that uh <laughs> I can't believe that they uh they had such a piss poor presentation on Sony where they showed only a PlayStation 5 logo. I told you, I, sa I said to somebody the other day, I said, guys, they're not going to show you PlayStation 5 and how it looks. They're not going to do that this early. And guess what? I was right. What did they show you? A, a, a number, a 5, a PlayStation 5 logo, which we all already know how it's going to look, right? So uh, they're not going to show it to you till probably May, around May. I think this year they're going to show up at the E3. This this year they have to show up at the E3 because they have to uh, sell. They have to announce PlayStation 5. They have to show it to you how it looks. So that way you can start pre-ordering it. They will show up this E3 show. It will happen. This time they have a reason. Because they have to promote. Remember, they have to promote a PlayStation 5 console. So they will be in June. E3 show LA. They're going to promote PlayStation 5, and the orders will be available for pre-orders immediately. Soon as they finish showing it to you, holding in their hands, uh, you'll be able to pre-order it on Amazon immediately. But you have to pre-order it right away. Now, the pricing, I don't know, 500 600 There might be two different versions, one 500 one 600 I don't know. We'll see. But it's going to be an E3 show. And Xbox... Uh, Phil Spencer is going to show you how Xbox One, uh, how Xbox Series X looks in person. They're going to uh, do the unboxing with uh, what's his name, uh, Master. What uh, I forgot the name of the guy uh, who is working for Microsoft. What's his name? Uh, uh, anyway, I can't remember his freaking name, but he's always. He's like the spokesperson, uh, Nelson, Major Nelson. Major Nelson, he's going to show you the Xbox Series X. They're going to unbox it. They're going to show you what's inside the box. Da -da 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 -da. And then uh, pre-orders will be available for the X Series X and PlayStation 5. Mark my words, June 6th or June 7th, uh, they're going to do that for E3 show. This coming E3 show. People say, how do you know? Because... I use logistic, logistic, plausible trajectory. I can think the way they think. It's called common sense. I don't go by wishful thinking, and I don't go by what I heard from a rumor. I go by possible plausibility, logical trajectory of what they might do next. And I, and I guarantee you, come this E3 show, that's what you're going to have. Equal 
and free just as the Founding Fathers intended. Yeah. Yeah. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. Ah. 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 His philosophy hey. dependent on biology. Sir? What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling. Cousin. You're all right, boy. Speak to me, Lenny. <laughs> Some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Well, you always were. Bo, where are we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me. Hit me? Yes, FIFA would look great on uh, Google State. It'd be like a PC version. Oh, yeah, would look great. But I think. You'll see Pro Evolution Soccer faster than you will see FIFA on the Google Stadia. So Pro Evolution Soccer, uh, the newest one, and the oldest one, 2020 and 2021, you'll see that on Google Stadia for sure. You'll see Pro Evolution Soccer, and Pro Evolution Soccer is great. Uh, I think it's one of my favorite uh, soccer uh, games, uh, honestly. Nothing against FIFA. I love FIFA. I play FIFA, but I'm just simply saying Pro Evolution Soccer is definitely one of my favorites. And one more thing I want to say. Uh, both DJ and Ron John, they've been with me forever, since like 2016. So they're like the top moderators, so just letting you know. They have the authority to, to decide who stays, who doesn't stay here, so they have total control over that. So just letting you know, they're my top moderators. DJ's been with me forever. Ron John's been with me forever. Sure, we don't agree on certain things. Sometimes we agree to disagree, but that's okay. That's normal. I, you know, that's the way everything is. But uh, they're my top moderators, dude. <clears throat> They've been with me for a long time. Just letting you know. And Mr. Wada, obviously, Mr. Wada has been with me like fuck forever. Uh, you know, these are my top ones. They've been with me forever, and they know me. They know me. They know me really well. So that's why they are top moderators. <clears throat> Oh yeah, Rocket League will happen. Pop G is definitely going to happen. Uh, oh yeah, for sure. Guys, you got to remember, this this just started like a month ago. A month ago. This is a young service. A month ago. You know, if this was like a one-year-old service and they're still struggling with 20 games, then fine, dude. You know, I hear you loud and clear. I'm going to criticize them too. But we're talking about a service that just started a month ago. You got, you got to give them some time, guys. You got to give this a time to breathe. When Netflix first started, they had a bunch of crappy movies, B movies, movies you never heard about. Like, I don't know, like 30 movies on the Xbox 360 in 2008. People were laughing, saying, This is not going to change a uh, blockbuster video. This is not going to change blockbuster video. <laughs> Even I was laughing, like, what is this kind of nonsense? It's not going to change blockbuster video. Guess what? Fast forward now. What do we got? We got The Witcher. We got The Irishman. We got a bunch of... We got The, the Lost in Space. Netflix taking over. And look what the Netflix has influenced. Amazon. Disney Plus. Hulu. list goes on and on and on. You see, you got to give new technology a time, a time and a space to breed, to evolve. Everybody wants everything all at once. It doesn't happen all overnight. You know, Rome wasn't built overnight. Even this country wasn't built overnight. Nothing's built overnight. But you got to give it some time to breathe, man. Exactly. Thank you, Art Morgan.
My cousins are my primary concern right now. Exactly. Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here only ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. What are we doing here? So, you were saying? Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. Yes. Also, don't forget, there's a new exclusive game coming to uh, Google Stadia. Okay? And, uh... It's like an open world sandbox exclusive game. Resident Evil 3, Capcom, you'll probably see Resident Evil 3 on Google Stadia. Uh, you'll see a Yakuza. You'll see a bunch of stuff, man. Just got to give it some time. Vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but you should leave. Yes, the Irishman. Listen, when you have um, hold on, when you got Al Pacino, when you got De Niro, when you got Joe Pesci, when you got those three, and then you got legendary Martin Scorsese. Sign me up, dude. I'm watching it. I'm sign me up. Great movie, man. I love it. Love every minute of it. I didn't care that it was a three hours long, like three and a half hours. I didn't care. It was so fucking good. Great job, man. But again, it's legendary Martin Scorsese. What'd you expect? Of course, greatness. <clears throat> My family, we have money. I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. What's up, Zach? How you doing? I thought you were trying to make me feel better. I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Alright. My payment. Alright. <laughs> Jose is going to kill me now. I took all damn money. I ain't contributing nothing. Oh, now, boy. Yep. Hold on, I gotta go to my camp. Uh. Michael Moore, I think I already made the prediction. Uh, no, they're not going to be here. By 2031, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, these are the last of the consoles. This doesn't mean that you're not going to have a PlayStation. This doesn't mean that you're not going to have an Xbox in 2031 or beyond. It just means they're not going to be making hardware consoles. You understand, guys? It doesn't mean that you won't have PlayStation brand. It doesn't mean that you won't have Xbox brand or Nintendo brand. Those brands are going to be here forever. But they're not going to be making these traditional hardware consoles. Why? Because it's costing a lot of money. To develop, to distribute, all of that costs money. They want to be able to do it in a way where they can save money and control the games and control what you buy what you don't buy they want to have a full control of what the players are playing and they can look at the metadata of what the players are playing and what they're doing okay by 2031 and beyond PlayStation 5 will have some redefined consoles upgrades PlayStation 5 Pro whatever they call it but that will be the last of it same thing with the X Series X. That would be the last of it. By 2031 and beyond, 2032, 2033, 
you won't see any more consoles. And you sure as hell not going to see any physical media. That's my plausible, plausible prediction. And if I'm wrong, well then, damn, I'm wrong. You know, We'll talk about that in 2031, 2032, if the world is still in one place. Okay? But I'm trying to give a plausible trajectory. Just like NASA, when the, when the Mars is closest to us, that's when they launch that rocket to send that rover to land on Mars. They're not going to send it when it's the, the furthest away from us, where it takes about two years to get there. Okay? They want to get there like in eight months. So the same thing here. I'm giving a plausible trajectory on where this business model and technology is moving. Can I be wrong? Absolutely, 100 fucking percent I can be wrong about this. I am not a Nostradamus. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't have a time machine to, to fly to the future and come back. But I'm giving a plausible trajectory prediction. Hold on, let me check my map. Lenny! Lenny! Where is Lenny? Lenny's right here. Gotta talk to Lenny. No way. Nope. <coughs> I'm not stopping. <clears throat> Something like that. They're going to call it whatever. PlayStation... Cloud, Xbox Cloud. Uh, yeah. They're not gonna add any numbers because it's not a console. It's just gonna call it it's just it's just a, it's gonna be a brand name. What's gonna be it's gonna be a brand name and uh, that's it. You know, it's gonna be a brand name. PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, and uh, all you're gonna need is your television. They're gonna make televisions, built in apps. Uh, and the processors inside the televisions will be able to handle uh, native 8K, native 4K, uh, okay, and you'll be able to have all of that on your television. You're just going to need a television. That's, everything's going to be in your inside, inside your television. All your music, all your movies, all your entertainment, your Skype, your Google Hangout, everything's going to be in your television. Everything's going to be inside your telly. And... Everything's going to be convenient inside there. Now, this is my trajectory. This is my prediction. Can I be wrong about this? 100% I could be wrong about this. I don't have a crystal ball. But like I said earlier, I'm using a plausible prediction. And there's a lot of people who actually agree with me. I went to some of these Reddit forums and they all agree, yeah? The way things are going, sure. It, it's not like a fantasy prediction. It's a plausible prediction. Oh, look, he's taking a shit. He disagrees. <laughs> Stadia USA, how you doing, bro? Good to see you. Yeah, we, we, uh, we got to work on that podcast. Um on Friday, listen, I'm going to contact you on Friday because I got some things I have to take care of on Friday. Uh, but I'm going to contact you on Friday, see if we can set it up maybe Friday evening or something. Uh, later on in the evening when everybody comes home and we can do the podcast through like a Google Hangout. 
And uh, I definitely would love to do that podcast with you, man. I think it'd be great. Uh, people can join in. I can ask questions and stuff. I think it'd be awesome. It's not just about Google Stadia. We can talk about the future of cloud gaming and where things are going. And um, like I said, guys, it doesn't matter who who win this fight. Whether it's Google, whether it's the Amazon, whether it's the uh, Xbox, or who have you. It doesn't really matter. Or whether it's the Valve, Steam, it doesn't really matter who wins this. It doesn't change the fact that the cloud gaming technology is going to evolve. And this is something that these big YouTubers don't seem to understand. They can't seem to see that trajectory. They can't seem to see that. So whether Google fails or wins doesn't really matter. It makes no difference. Cloud gaming will continue. It's going to evolve. Meaning, guess what, Young Yeah. You won't have your physical media and your consoles in 2031 and beyond. Yeah. Unless you want to keep your old consoles and just play them, whatever. Without any internet and without any updates and just play it like it is and whatever. You know, I'm, just, I'm just having a real talk, guys. You know, this is not about me trying to, you know, uh, to hold the flag for Google Stadia. This is just about me being real about it. And, of course, exposing these big YouTubers who are lying about this technology, saying it doesn't work. I clearly have proven with my videos, 4K HDR, you've seen me play NBA 2K 2020, looks freaking amazing. You've seen me play this 4K HDR. You've seen me play a bunch of games 4K HDR, Final Fantasy, with the HDR sliders. You can even adjust the HDR sliders. They have HDR sliders and everything in there. I've, I have proof of that chromecast ultra is not overheating it's been what 40 days 40 43 days or something like that nothing my google uh, my chromecast ultra is not overheating you think by by now after 43 days you think it would overheat by now you know these are the, the these are these are the facts this is not me you know pulling something out of my ass and then talking out of my ass it's not me trying to be a dick. It's not me trying to be an asshole. It's just a reality of the fact. But apparently, it bothers some people. It bothers some people. Well, too bad, cousin. If it bothers you too bad, you know what to do. Don't watch my videos. Don't watch my channel. Go somewhere else. Here I am, two and a half hours, no issues, no problems. I'll have nothing to do with you. Yeah, soda's bad for you, man. Just go with the water. <laughs> go with the Hennessy. <laughs> Thank you, uh... Shreta Ush Ushretea. Shreta Ushretea. Sorry if I'm butchering your name. I'm trying to get it right. Shweta Ushretaya. Shreta Ushretaya. Well, they already proved that the VR uh, can be used with the cloud gaming. Um, the Shadow PC gaming has already proven that, that you can use uh, Oculus Rift and your Windows Mixed Reality with, uh, with Shadow PC gaming. So, technology has already proven that it can work. That you can do it. You don't need to have a high-end PC. You just need internet. And you can connect your you know, Oculus Rift and your Windows Mixed Reality, 
without need of a high-end PC. They already proven that point that, that you can do that right now. That's not out for the debate. It's been proven. You can do it. <clears throat> What do I think about the PlayStation 5 logo? I think that it looks exactly what I have dreamed about. They're going to add a number to an existing logo. Instead of four, they put the five. So, wow. I mean, I'm, I'm super impressed. Yes, Arta. Art is here. How do you do? Well, I think the cloud cloud will help virtual reality in many retrospects because they can make virtual reality more lightweight. My only problem with virtual reality headsets and I have them all, currently is the fact that they're too heavy. They're still heavy on your head, you know, and you still know you're wearing a VR headset, you know. Uh, so I'm thinking they're probably going to move to making something very light, almost like wearing glasses, you know, something very light on your head, lightweight, or like a visor. You know, like in the Star Trek, what's the name of that guy in Star Trek that has a visor? Like a very lightweight visors, putting on your eyes, something like that. And I think that's where we headed. And I think that's a more convenient way to, to enter the virtual reality. Not having all these cables hanging from your big, heavy headset, VR headset. That's, that's not the way it's going to go. They're going to go for a more of a lightweight lightweight virtual reality and the cloud gaming i mean cloud servers gonna help because all the heavy lifting will be done at the cloud center and guess what you don't have to be in your home you could be anywhere you just need to put the visors on and with uh, the new e uh, elon musk satellite internet you could be anywhere you could be in the woods put on that vr uh, visors and you can just live out your world guys technology is advancing it's moving forward constantly you can't stop evolution of technology okay you can hate it all day long you can bang your head against the wall all day long you can't stop evolution of technology that's the end of story of that <clears throat> Sorry to hear that, uh, Glenn. My condolences, man. Sorry to hear that. Ah, uh, what a minute. Let me talk to Annabelle. Arthur. What? Who's calling me? What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the breakaway place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Jose wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god.
All right, Jose is looking for me. Got to go find him. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, man. You know. So it's a fucked up world we live in. <clears throat> you know. Unfortunately, it's fucked up. And we're all just going backwards. Uh, instead of going forward. Where's the map? Hosea. Okay, let me go talk to Hosea. There he is. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <laughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. All right. Get, get. Get, get. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past them. I know. I've seen it. There's a great war. And a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of you. Maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Yeah. I get about on a good day 945 down download speed and uh, 380 up that's because I have this new cable installed this uh, gold plated uh, coaxial giant cable line that technicians have installed and I'm also using a very high-end Doxis 3.1 modem that allows me to get that speed uh, so that's the that's the reason why you know but on a bad day like or like today on a bad day I got like something like 745 download and uh, 100 uh, was it 100 and 180 up Last time I checked, it's like 180 up upload and 745 download. But you can't achieve that through Wi-Fi. 
you have to use a Ethernet cable to achieve that okay so there's a trick to that through Wi-Fi I can get like 480 download speed and uh, 111 upload speed so there, there's a little there's a double-edged sword to it you know It's really your installations. When it comes to Xfinity, your installation is the key. If you have a bad installation in your house, then you're not going to get that internet speed that you want. Okay? Then you're just wasting money. You really have to have technicians check your house, get a permit, and you know make sure that they can install and work on installing the new cable lines. Because uh, installation is everything. If you have a bad installation that's rotten, that's uh, you know rusty then you can't send that signal you know you can't receive that signal so you have to have a new installation fresh gold plated from a coaxial cable and then you'll be able to have that that internet speed this is what the technicians told me and these guys are like top of the line technicians they came in and they were working the entire day uh, last was it on, on Monday they were here the entire day <laughs> they were working I mean Friday, I'm sorry, Friday. They were here Friday, working the entire day. And uh, they told me all this. So, Thank you, uh, Anerdi. I appreciate it, man. I'm going to be you know, heading out soon, too. It's been almost three hours. Here I am delivering this moonshine for three hours, and uh, no issues, no problems. Uh, there we go. Seems that's easy enough. Why don't I do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is you go sell it someplace else. The alternative is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. With you. And Urban World, that's a good idea to get the heat sink because uh, Oculus Go, I have a couple of them. They do overheat f fairly quickly. That's not a bad idea, as a matter of fact. Let's do it. When you're giving out free whiskey, no, free moonshine. Free moonshine to everybody. Idiot. 
Gorilla tape's great, man. That's gonna hold it for sure. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> All right, let's pick it up. Oh, yeah, PlayStation 5 is going to bring us some photorealistic graphics, man. You guys ain't seen nothing yet. When you see PlayStation 5 Gran Turismo 7, oh, my God. Oh, this is a funny scene. I remember this. <laughs> this is going to be funny. I remember this. All right, where are we going? I'm here. The bar, down the there. All right, all right. Hold your horses.
my libation. You, me. You're the bastard who stole a liquor we was gonna buy. Joe, we're in advertising. Come on in, have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> Coming! I'm coming! Oh shit! Oh shit! Damn it, they're still coming. Oh shit, didn't see the other one. I forgot how tough this mission is. Shit. 
I'm getting this out of here. They ain't gonna let this go, are they? Over there! They got out the back! Got more coming after us. I see them. Well, shoot them then! Whoa! Hold on. Woo! Shit, is that all of them? Too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old my Brayton, see what's what. What? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fit. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law, you couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus, and on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys think? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know who was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other anyway. Okay, well, Hosea's gone back to see that Braithway woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. How the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as paid. Way back. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happening a long time ago. Well, I guess.
guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Uh, no, Tox. This is, uh, from a capture card. Uh, my PC capture card. And I'm using a Chrome, uh, Chrome browser that's upscaling this from 1080p to 4K. Uh, so it's a 1080p source being upscaled to 4K with my capture card that I have, my Avermedia capture card uh, that's installed in my PC. But in the future, from what I have heard, you will be able to, uh, to stream directly from Google Stadia. I'm going to go to my camp. All right, let's go some, get some sleep. Hey, what's up, Evan? Well, Evan, you came too late because I'm going to end this stream right now. I got to go. I got to end it. Um, what is this, a flower? Why is a flower here? Who, uh, who left it here? Ah, uh, not much, man. Uh, you missed it, man. You missed three hours. But don't worry, you can watch it later on. You missed a lot of stuff, dude. But you can watch it later on, on demand when it's uh, when it's finished. All right, well there you have it, fellas. You know, ladies and gents, two three hours been playing this without any problems, without any hiccups. Um, so, you know, there it is. Apparently, it works once again, you know. So, there you have it. And, and, and if this video is not going to convince you, if my Final Fantasy 8 hours of live stream is not going to convince you, then nothing will convince you, meaning that you already made up your mind. Uh, you don't care. But if you're somebody who's on a fence, I think you're going to look at this and you're going to say, hey, well, you know, this actually works. All right. Thank you, the elite. Thank you, State of USA. Yeah, totally unplayable. You can't play this. You know, it's a latency is terrible. Yeah, it's just horrible. It's just unplayable. And you can't see nothing. Uh, the graphics are terrible as well. Yeah. Let's walk down by the, uh, hold on. Let me just walk on over here a little bit. Before I end this stream. Let's see how terrible the graphics are. Since we're here. Look at that haze and fog. Look at that haze and fog. Look at that. That's just terrible. The reflection on the water and everything is just, uh, yeah. Why would anyone bother with this? Well, it's just god awful. Just god awful. And these textures and the shadow. I don't know. I don't know, Digital Foundry. I mean, uh, I guess you're right. Yes, this is a PC ver I mean, it's a PC version, but it's 
from Google. All of the games are PC games from Cloud Center, Data Center, you know. That's what it is. Here's a little photo, photo mode here. And these terrible textures. I want to take a photo here. Take one more over here, like that, like this. This is great. Hold on. Get back to the game. Yes. This one here too. Looks good. Well, there you have it, guys. They have fellers. Fellers. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Three hours. I think uh, I think I've proven my point in three hours here. You know. But then again, for somebody who is a fanboy, uh, who just loves their brand, it doesn't matter what you show them. It doesn't matter what you tell them. You can reason with them because they're fanboys. Okay. Uh, they don't care. Neither do I care about them either. Uh, that's why uh, I always tell people, if you're a fanboy, you're not welcome to my channel. I don't want fanboys here. All right? I, I don't like fanboys, you know. If you love your plastic, if you love your brand, fine. Duly note it. Get it. But we don't need to listen to you 24-7 talk about your brand every day. All right? I'm not into that stuff. I'm not into that kind of bondage. All right? I'm not into a fanboy bondage. I'm not, it doesn't turn me on. It doesn't do nothing for me, okay? So, anyway, there you have it. There you go. For three hours and three minutes, or three hours and four minutes. Yeah. Terrible. Terrible graphics and playable, latency, scrambled, compressed image. Just, uh, why would anyone bother with this shit? I don't know. Yeah. And they're running out of excuses, uh, Tux. There's, there's really like, uh, they're using these old, uh, they're pulling some old news from some statistics about Destiny 2 from a previous month. Uh, and then they're trying to compare Destiny 2 PC player base with Google Stadia player base of course PC with Steam will have hell of a lot more players for the love of freaking God anyone with any brain cells in in their skull will understand that you're comparing something that's a one month old service to something that Steam Valve juggernaut but, yeah, Mr. Money Young, yeah, is going to tell you that. And no one wants to question Mr. Young, yeah, Money, yeah, about that. And he sure as hell ain't going to reply to my comment because he knows I'm telling the truth. Like, dude, you're comparing something that's a month old to something that's a juggernaut like a steam valve. That would be like me comparing an independent company with Jeff Bezos' Amazon. It's like, come on, man. If you're going to be fair, be fair. Be fair. But these guys are not fair, and I cannot respect them because they're not fair. They're lying. They're totally biased. Now he's comparing an Xbox to uh, Google Stadia. Xbox Series X to Google Stadia. Like, really, dude? You're comparing a hardware console to something that's a cloud gaming. And you're comparing something like Xbox, who's been in gaming industry since 2001, to something like Google Stadia that just started in November of 2019. You want to be fair? Then be fair, young yeah. But you're not being fair. Okay? And everybody knows that.
Who doesn't know it? Well, your one million sheeps who are fanboys, they know it too, but they don't want to talk about that fact because it doesn't fit their narrative. If something doesn't fit their narrative, if something doesn't fit your narrative, guess what? You're not going to talk about it because it doesn't fit your narrative. Anyway, I rest my case. Well, there you have it. Enjoy it. This terrible graphics. You can't even see under the water. It's just brutally terrible. You know, this is why no one's going to debate me. This is why Yong Ye is not going to reply to me. This is why he's not going to debate me because he knows he's going to lose that debate. Like, terribly. He's going to lose it. It's going to make him look bad. And number two, same thing with the Dreamcast guy. He knows he's going to lose that debate with me. That's why nobody wants to debate me. These big YouTubers don't want to talk about me. And I mark my words. He will never mention me. And I know why. And he knows why. Anyway. There you ho. There you, there you ho, you ho. You go, you ho. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm done. There you have it. I showed it to you. I give you the proof for three and a half, for three hours, you know. You make your own judgment. Believe what you want to believe. I'm not here to talk out of my ass. I'm just here to show it to you. All right. If I want to talk out of my ass, I can do that. I can bullshit. I can be the best bullshitter in the world if I wanted to. I could make gazillions of dollars being a bullshitter if I really wanted to. I know how to do it. I know what to say. I know how to say it. But I'm not in business of that. That's against my principle. I don't do that. Anyway, there you go. Enjoy it. See you guys soon. Take care. I'm out of here. You're all right, boy. You're all right. Ah. Ah. All right, guys. I'm out. Sorry, Patrick. I got to go, man. Uh, it's been here for three hours. Uh, ask me tomorrow. I'll tell you. All right. Or if you want to go to Google Stadia, uh, you can check on that information. Um, all that stuff. Later, guys. Have a good one.